Let's now solve some questions on decision table testing. A company employees are paid bonuses if they work more than a year in the company and achieve individually agreed targets. The following decision table has been designed to test the logic for paying bonuses. Which test cases could be eliminated in the above decision table because the test case wouldn't occur in real situation? So this is the decision table. We have three conditions. The first condition, is the person employed more than one year or not? The second condition, did we agree with this person on a target? The third condition, did this person achieve the target? So we need to eliminate two test cases which can't occur in real situations. Let's look at test case number one. Here, this person is employed more than one year. He did not agree with us on a target and he did not achieve this target. So he will not get a bonus. This is logical. The second one, a person who is not employed more than one year, he did not agree on a target and he did not achieve any target. This is logical. He will not get any payment. The third person, he is employed more than one year. He agreed with us on a target, but he did not achieve it. So he will not get any bonus. Number four, a person who is not employed more than one year, he agreed on a target. He did not achieve this target. He will not get a bonus. Some of you may think that test case number four is illogical. It will not occur in a real situation. But this test case may happen. Why? Because, for example, we may have a talented employee who is not employed more than one year, but we will add an exception for him and will agree on a special target with him. Number five, a person who is employed more than one year, he did not agree with us on a target, but he achieved it. This is illogical. It cannot happen in real life because in order to achieve a target, you should at the beginning agree with us on it. So this is the first test case that will not occur in real situation. Test case number six, a person who is not employed more than one year, he did not agree on a target, but he achieved it. This also is illogical. It cannot occur in real situations. Test seven, the person employed more than one year, he agreed on a target and achieved it. The last, a person who is employed no less than one year agreed on a target and achieved it. So like we said, the situation that will not occur in real life is that you don't agree on a target, but you achieve it. The second question, which of the following is the correct decision table for the following pseudo code for ordering a hamburger? Note, if you add or delete items from the basic burger, you no longer get the basic burger. Let's look at the code. So in this example, this is a pseudo code and he gives me four decision tables for this code. And we want to know which decision table is the correct one for this code. The code says that we start and select the basic burger. If the customer adds any item while he is adding any items, we ask him which items do you want to add and we add them for him. Then if he wants to delete an item, we will ask him, what do you want to delete? And we will delete it for him. If the customer wants fries with the order, we will add fries to his order and complete his order. So here we have three questions. And we said in decision table testing, three questions, each question with yes and no. So this will give us two to the power three test cases, which is eight test cases. So let's look at table number one. This table contains only six test cases. We said that we may reduce the number of test cases, but by using don't care or by removing the test cases that will not happen in real life situation. But here we see that he removed the test case, which says that we added an item and deleted an item and added fries. And this case would happen in real life situation. This is why this table is wrong. This table here has eight test cases, which is a good thing, but let's look at the content of the conditions. Test case number one says yes, no, yes. Test case number three, yes, no, yes. So this is wrong. We should have eight unique test cases which are different from each other. We can't have two test cases with the same input. So this table is wrong. This table, we find that it has eight test cases. The conditions are all correct, but in the results, Let's see, for example, test case number one, he added an item, he deleted an item, he added fries, and he will get the basic burger. This is wrong. Why? Because we said you cannot 
get a basic burger if you add or delete an item. So if any of the conditions contains a yes, the basic burger should be no, okay? So this table is wrong. The last table is the correct one because it has eight test cases. Each test case has the relevant conditions with it and the results also are relevant. So let's look at test case number one, for example. He added an item, he deleted an item, he added fries, so he will not get the basic burger. He has some added items and some deleted items, and he has fries with his order.